The agricultural sector's export turnover in the first six months of 2018 reached some $20 billion, setting a decent pace by meeting half of the year's target of $41 billion. Despite challenges still facing the sector towards the year's end, the general picture for agricultural exports is expected to be a leverage for the country's GDP. Vietnam has long been known around the world for its rice production. However, the past four years saw rice production at a low point. Despite these gloomy years, rice exports have made a breakthrough in 2018, with prices even surpassing those of export giants in Thailand and India. Rice has greatly contributed to the country's export turnover of agrofishery forestry products, which was altogether worth around $19.4 billion US dollars in the first half of 2018. We are fully aware that we are still only halfway through the year, yet we have received positive signals that the yearly target is achievable. Still, challenges remain, including the declining demand of coffee, pepper and rubber products. According to the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development, aquaculture is hoped to be the sector's driving force. Given the context of the yellow court by the European Commission imposed on the exploited seafood and the United States technical barriers to basta fish, high hope is pinned on shrimp exports. According to experts, the price has a high chance of bouncing back, as many countries have been lacking in shrimp imports. But Vietnam has just started harvesting the crop this year. Other products are also expected to see the broad picture, such as fruits and vegetables, cashew nuts and forestry products. Looking at sectors in terms of the potential they hold, agriculture comes out on top, followed by IT and then tourism. According to a report by the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development, this year's export target of farm produce is likely to be fulfilled. However, they also recommend the whole sector to keep an eye on weather conditions in case of any natural disasters, as well as adverse impacts from global trade relations.